So let's look at what your horse's nutritional needs are. With me here today is Amy McLean. Amy is the equine specialist at the University of Wyoming. Now, horses' nutritional needs differ depending on their age and working class. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. A horse's energy needs will um, be based on the age of the horse, the level of work the horse is performing at, as well as its reproduction status, and the weather can also affect the needs. So Amy, we're looking at this gelding here, and he's, he's probably a mature horse and uh, a maintenance horse. Kind of what would be his diet description? Okay, um, it's a great question for a horse that's at a maintenance level. And when we talk about maintenance, we're referring to the amount of work the horse is being required to do. So a horse at maintenance means he needs the minimal requirements. About 2% of his body weight should be consumed in forage. Um, if he is being ridden some, and if we're concerned in keeping him in a good body condition, such as he is in now, um, talking about the amount of fat over his neck, over his ribs, and then over his croup and his hips and the hind end, um, he should consume, like I said, at least 2% of his body weight and forage. If the owner does want to add some concentrate to his diet, then no more than 0.5% of his body weight should be added in the form of a concentrate, such as a grain. Now, Amy, we've got a show horse standing here in front of us. What would be the differences in re diet requirements for a show horse? It depends on what the horse is being asked to do and how hard the horse is being worked. If the horse is being worked on a daily basis anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, um, he can still be at a maintenance diet. However, with the maintenance diet, I would recommend including a concentrate in his diet. So feeding 0.5% of his weight in a concentrate and then 1.5% of his weight in a forage. The reason I would recommend feeding a concentrate or a grain to this horse is so the horse can um, be supplied with vitamins and minerals and extra protein and energy to maintain his hair coat and his muscle condition. Um, and the vitamins and minerals will also replace electrolytes that the horse will sweat out when he's being worked. So here we're looking at some younger horses. Now, someone who owns some younger horses, some say one, two, three-year-old horses, what are some of the things they should be looking at when they're feeding their horses? The biggest thing with young horses is the rate at which they're growing. Um, a lot of people will want to push a younger horse in terms of making them grow at a fast rate. And I caution owners to be aware of doing this because you can lead into problems such as OCD, which is osteochondrisis, and you'll have issues with their joints and their bones, which can become as severe as actually needing surgery. So, so with these younger horses, um, I really caution people to not overfeed them in terms of supplying too much grain. Um, they should have free choice to hay or forage in a pasture setting. And it's also ideal if these horses can get out and not be in a stall situation as they're growing because then their bones and their tendons and ligaments will actually develop better and stronger. And it's not uncommon for these horses to go through growing spurts um, where the hind end is actually taller than the, the front end. That's something the owner should not be concerned with. But the biggest thing um, I think most owners should be concerned with is not overfeeding these horses from the weaning stage once the foal is weaned up until the two or the three year old period. Um, and that will vary per horse. This horse right here is actually in really nice body condition. Um, he has a little bit of a hay belly on him, but that will come off when he starts to work. Is there a general rule for a percentage of their body weight that a, a forage that a young horse should be eating? Um, that will vary depending on the purpose of the horse and what your intentions are with it. Um, depending on the ranch or the farm and, and as well as the intention of the horse, some foals are weaned, they're turned out to pasture, and they're on a pasture until they're a long yearling or two-year-old and then brought in for training. Other places are more intense with their feeding program and might supply a higher quality forage, such as a higher quality alfalfa or grass hay to that horse, along with um, a concentrate. Um, it's not a bad idea when the foals are still on their, their mothers up until the weaning age to do what we call creep feeding, so they have um, free access to a concentrate and they can eat it on their will. Um, but again, I just caution people to not overfeed them, but at the same time, you don't want to underfeed them. If you do underfeed them at this critical period from the weaning to the two-year-old period, a lot of these horses will not grow to their full genetic potential. 
Now this horse here is an older horse. In fact, he's 24 years old, so that's a, that's a pretty old horse. What are some of the considerations for, for feeding senior horses? Well, one of our main concerns when you have an older horse, which we'd call a senior horse, 20 to 30 years old, is keeping the weight on that horse, especially when you have hard winters like we do here in Wyoming. Um, ideally, you don't want them to drop off in their weight. So a horse um, that is a senior aged horse, we can actually purchase a special senior type feed for them. Um, different manufacturers make a senior feed. And that feed is very palatable for the horse, meaning it's very easy for them to eat. When the horse gets older, 20 plus years old, oftentimes their teeth will kind of disintegrate as well as their digestive tract will um, begin to slow down and will have a harder time and will not be as effective in digesting nutrients. So these senior feeds are formulated for these older horses in terms of improving the availability of nutrients and also being easy for the horse to eat.